Hey everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on issue 1 of Star Wars Starfighter Crossbones. Now, as you know, Star Wars Starfighter Crossbones is a free issue series, and was meant to take place in between Star Wars Starfighter and Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. And of course, it's meant to fill in what happened before the events of Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, as well as filling up after what happened Star Wars Starfighter. And the cover has the character Nim with a sword, and everyone getting ready for action. We see how on the planet Marena, we see how a Trade Federation cruiser, where two important people are talking, saying, Claiming this world was an inspiration, your lordship. Hmm, I yes, Rook. I suppose Marin does have limited resources and a hard working local province. And we kind of see how that, yeah, Rook is meant to play a key role in a boss battle in Star Wars Jedi you know, Starfighter. And we kind of see how he tries to worm his way in trying to get the planet. And we see him, and we see how his superior says. I hope it will relieve this bullden. The fish folk are too competent. And of course, we kind of see how Rook Superior ends up getting shot. And of course, Lord Drought ends up getting killed. And Rook tries to get the droids to kind of shoot anything that's not Nemordian. And we're introduced to Soul Sixer, who was also in the Star Wars Star Jedi Starfighter game, saying... I've died so many times, even my own people think I'm a ghost. You won't be so lucky, little lava. I'll take anything, take it all. That's the plan. And of course, they decide to throw everyone off board, and including sinking the ship to the bottom, with the droids falling underwater. We kind of see how Master Gallia is met by the ambassador of the, uh, of the planet, and of course get some info from one of the Naboo Starfighter teams who played a key role in the first game about Nim, how he started off as a bit of a bruiser and of course ended up working with the the sort of Naboo teams and dealing with the whole Naboo crisis and even when he found out his planet and his base got got taken over we see Nim saying everyone clear out we've lost and of course even played a key role with the with the starfighter team in taking out trade federation areas and helping to save naboo and with everyone going their separate way nim was given a pardon in that and even found out to his dismay that the trade federation had turned his base into their own private operations and of course we see how on the planet Rodia, we kind of see how Nim is working with one other clan in trying to get the role of protector, with him saying, it's too small, you look fine, it's nearly time to earn your pay, stay in the center of the battle and don't look at the cam droids, it's bad form. And of course we kind of see how they get ready, and of course we see the enemy clan in that all getting ready, with Nim reminding Jacobs and Mox to kind of keep things under control. And we see how the battle goes through. And we see how Nim tries to decimate the forces. And even Nim saying, Jacobs, you're too deep in the battle, fall back. I'm the clan leader, I do not fall back. And we kind of see how he tries to take on one of the leaders. And of course, tries to tip him over, which he does, and him saying, and the clan war is over. Don't count on it, Nim. Kill the alien! And we see how Jaken says, well, better than we expected. I can't see anything, Jakins. How's he doing? The rodents don't stand a chance. And we kind of see how Nim uses a thermal detonator, despite the leader knowing that... The Republic outlawed them, and we see Nim saying, good thing I'm an outlaw. And of course, throws the thermal detonator, wiping out some of the rival clan members, 
and as he shows up, we kind of see how he takes the spectators' valuables and tries to make a getaway. And after helping the other clan leader get the role of Grand Protector and even offer to come with them, we see how Nim is met with the ambassador of Marina and needs her help to deal with the Trade Federation as well as Soul Sixer. And even saying, and the Trade Federation is trigger happy. We mer don't want to be caught in the middle of a war. So, doesn't involve me. I'm not going back to Kashyyyk's system for any. You'll be a hero to my people. And we just see how him and his team decide to go. And yeah, the story, I would say, is pretty good. I think it d did have a potential to be an extra game. And I think there was a, an actual intention to make Star Wars Starfighter Crossbones into an actual game. But I kind of like the idea that we do kind of see how it takes place in between two stories, feeling how some of the events folded and how Nim would play a key role in helping the Republic once again. So I think the story still deserves a thumbs up. Still good. And still alright. So, Comic Viewer here, signing out.